Alright guys, what's going on? Thanks for checking in my channel. Today we've got a pretty cool one set up for you. Um, so, a few months back I went to Maryland and met with Kai from Transtape. He's the owner over there and he was just, it, it was such an amazing experience and I learned so much. So here are five things that I learned from the owner of Transtape. Roll that intro. All right, so um, just from going out there, he gave me a kind of a care package, right? So well, this is the large. We got the four inch medium and the three inch small. So for me, uh, my size is probably like, I would say medium large. So um, I'm just gonna go with the large because I know it's gonna cover it, cover like the most skin and it's gonna give me the most support. So um, that's what I'm gonna be showing you with today. All right, so first you're gonna need some scissors because they're not pre-cut. So you get to decide how many uh, blue lines that you is good for your chest. All right, so you can see on the back side here that there's blue lines, right? There's, it starts with three on this side, but there's one, two, three blue lines. So what I'm gonna do is actually do two and a half with the large. So um, I do, I'm gonna do these two blocks and then I'm gonna ha actually have this half and that's gonna work for me. So let me cut those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go along that blue line and chop her down. That's okay. And then we got one, two, and I'm gonna go a half. Just because I've been doing this a while and I know what the size is right for me. So now you got your two strips. So the first tip that I learned from Kai is to round my edges. Um, so apparently when you don't round the, ed the edges, the tension is like being held on these corners um, and it can cause blisters, it can be painful in there and it can cause that wrinkling too much. So if you uh, round the corners of all of these, all of that tension's e evenly distributed like throughout the tape so it's not pulling on one particular corner more than the other, so. So yeah, so now I'm gonna round my edges. I just line mine up. You definitely wanna make sure you have sharp scissors too because if you don't, then you'll really be not getting a clean cut on those edges and on your pieces and it'll fray easier. So I got two pieces with rounded corners. Um, usually, they want you to apply nipple guards. Um, I don't apply nipple guards. I guess my skin is just not as sensitive so it doesn't bother me when I take it off and put it on, um, but some people do, so. The second thing I learned from Kai is that the tabs really help. So what I mean by tabs is he wants you to, he, you know, you start by tearing, right, to kind of make a tab for you to be able to use, just tearing across the line, down and down, flip it over so it's easier. But now you've got two tabs. So you're going to peel this one back. Now that you got it torn apart, you can just pull down like this and stop about an inch before the end, and then you can fold along that line. So you got two tabs like this, right? Never, when we're applying the tape, are we like pulling this on our skin. We're just gonna be moving our tissue ourselves. And then this is gonna be holding that tissue where we put it. It keeps it from sticking to itself because you, do, you don't wanna get this stuck to itself because it, nine times out of 10, you won't be able to get it back apart without it really messing up the adhesive. So this kind of helps with that too. So um, it's time to take my shirt off. All right. Now we're personal. Third thing I learned from Kai is that um, instead of going across, right, so before I was going across straight into my armpit, and what he's actually wanting, what he intended it to be used for is for V-necks, right? So you have this line, this V line, so where if you wear a V-neck or a button down, you're not gonna see it. So um, he actually once said to line it up this way, like in line with your, with your shoulder uh, there, so it comes across more like this to hold it. You find your like base spot, right, and so, Mine's gonna be right there. Okay, you're not pulling on the tape. You're just pushing your tissue and letting the tape relax. And then it's just letting go and smooth off to the side. You rub to activate it. I had to take like three days off of taping because I messed up and I had to let my skin heal. And oh, it feels so much better to have it back on. All right, so then we're gonna take the other side and do the exact same thing. An inch from the edge, we're gonna tear it back, tear it back, tear it back. Right, and then peel off this part, and then do the same thing on the other side. So this one you're gonna go this way with this collarbone and down. Oh, feels like a million bucks. I don't feel like, like look how flat that is with my shirt on. I mean, come on. You saw how it wasn't exactly perfect, you know, with no shirt on, but with my shirt back on, you can't really even notice, right? It's like super, super flat. You can really see it right there. Like this, across my chest, like come on. Come on, that's all I need, right? The fourth thing I learned from Kai is that I was <laughs> completely using it sideways. So when I was taking off, so I was cutting like, all right, so I'll just show you. So if I was cutting half of this, 
So when you take it off and you're keeping it the same way, this is vertical, right? So you see that stretch that it gives. I was doing it this way. So there's no stretch on the tape at all. And I, I don't know what I was thinking, but. So yeah, I just, I mean, for me, I, it doesn't get better than that right there. Trans tape helps me hang on to my hope that when I, that I'm gonna be all right until I can get top surgery. This is, this is manageable. I feel like I can run or jump or, or throw hands or box for fun. I'm just any kind of thing like that, I feel, I just feel supported, you know? And I, I don't have to worry about that as a trans guy. So that's super nice. So that was the fourth thing that I learned. And the fifth thing is that he's a super dope guy. So I actually, when I went to met, when I went to meet him in Maryland, I got to the Airbnb, Airbnb first. And um, so I was just kind of like moving my stuff in and getting like relaxed. Um, and I was nervous for when he, when he was going to show up and actually, you know, come in because I knew it was just him and um, I had never met him before. So I was a little bit nervous and literally like I was in my, the back room and Kai just walks in and just opens the door and he's like, honey, I'm home. And I was like this big, like, he just has this big, like welcoming, like super loving, like personality. And I was super thankful to meet him. Say what up to the fans, Kai. <laughs> Say what up to the fans. What up, fans? Yeah. My trip up to Maryland didn't go exactly the way that I had planned, um, but it, I had a lot of fun meeting a bunch of cool new people that uh, really helped, you know, helped the situation be even uh, the best it could be. So, uh, yeah, so those are five things that I learned from the owner of TransType, and uh, I hope this helped you apply your TransType in some kind of way. And if you're new to my channel, I made this channel to support um, people that are like me and help them on their journey to their authentic self, but then I also made it so we can educate the people that don't know what it's like to be today trans in today's society because that's a big one so if that sounds like something that's helpful for you go ahead and subscribe like this video i also have a new group the lone wolf district link below check it out and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace out